Welcome to another episode of Bargain Saturdays, and this week I decided to take a look at, you know, the first movie in the second volume of Old Westerns. Yep, time to take a look at Neath the Arizona Skies, another movie by Lone Star Productions involving John Wayne. So another one of those movies they put out in the 30s, while they still had an, a future A-list, you know, working for them for uh, bargain bin prices. In this one, John Wayne plays Chris Morrell. Uh, a guardian of a half-white, half-Native American girl who's due to inherit a lot of money from her deceased mother, whose land is full of oil wells, apparently. So she's worth $50,000. But while Chris has physical custody of her, and most people know he's been taking care of her for years, um, as far as the government's concerned, you know, you don't have proof that her father's deceased. So he technically still has custody, so you either need to prove to us that said man is dead by finding his body or some other evidence that says, you know, he's no longer, you know, in this world and that you adopted her effectively. Or you need to get him to sign this paperwork where he hands over custody to you because he doesn't want to have her. And of course, while the government agent's going over this stuff with Chris, a member of a local gang's listening in uh, for the Sam Black gang so, of course, the gang decides to go after because, you know, it's $50,000. Which doesn't sound like a lot of money today, but at the time this movie set in, that would be a crap ton of money. So Chris has to protect Nia all on his lonesome while dealing with an entire gang. And then to make matters worse, some thieves also get involved that like to rob banks. Because you got to have multiple groups of criminals in this one, right? And one of those criminals is also related to the future love interest in this movie as well, so... Yay. Gotta get things even more involved, you know? I guess they wanted to go with some complex relationships in this, uh, like, 50-some minute film. Which I guess it works out alright, but... I think that means they have to spend a bit too much time trying to establish certain things. Instead of just sticking with the action. In fact, I'd argue uh, the actor playing the little girl Nina is probably more interesting than this movie itself is. But I really don't feel like getting into that right now. I mean, if you want to find out why I think that, um, leave a comment and I'll explain it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a watchable film, but I think if they cut down on some of the... Uh, just focused on one group of criminals going after it may have been better. Because why throw in, you know, the thieves? Because they just want to have, you know, one of the criminals backstab another criminal. Like, you could have done that within Sam Black's gang, with them arguing over how much of a split they're going to get or something. So, yeah. It just seems like the thieves were a bit unnecessary in the grand scheme of things. So next time, then. See ya. In the second place, because snakes like you usually die of their own poison.